What is going on, everyone? It's your boy, Artie, Executive Director of Film is Art. Today, we are taking a look at wide receiver Troy Franklin from the University of Oregon. This young man is a fantastic prospect. He's in like the tier two, some would say tier three of the wide receivers in this class, but he is no slouch. He's very, very deadly. Uh, speed absolutely stands out when it comes to Troy Franklin. Love his route running. I think he's an outstanding route runner. Really helped Bo Nix take that jump um, into, you know, you know, the the talk of being, you know, a Heisman Trophy contender the past two seasons up in Oregon. Um, and also, you know, once he does get the ball in the stands, he can be very effective after the catch. Um, but Troy Franklin, as you guys are going to see later, he has some issues, and one of them is drops. Troy Franklin will absolutely drop a pass, you know, absolutely, um, you know, miss time his jump, you know, all of that. But let's start off right with the deception as a route runner, because when it comes to, you know, running those, you know, curl routes like you're seeing here, those deep, deep comebacks, excuse me, Troy Franklin really sells them well and, you know, makes those corners have to think because of that speed. He knows he has the speed, but he uses, you know, subtle head fakes and, you know, subtle shoulder fakes to his advantage. See here, really good job of being smooth and in your transition, right? Transition out of, um, you know, um, the uh, top of the route there. Really good job there by Franklin. Um, same thing here. You see that snap. See the way he snaps those uh, hips down. You know, really, 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 really impressive. Troy Franklin, right? The size is like, uh, it doesn't really like affect. It doesn't really like affect how I see him because I've seen guys similar weight, height and weight. Um have success a la Devontae Smith. I think if he was a little shorter, like an Xavier Worthy, um, maybe I'll be more concerned, but he is taller. Um, so I believe that, you know, with that frame, it's more, you know, weight slash muscle to be added. Um, but yeah, Troy Franklin for me, um, in that tier two of wide receivers in this class, um, right there with, you know, guys like Brian Thomas Jr., um, Keon Coleman, Roman Wilson, Xavier Worthy, um, guys like that in that, you know, tier of you know, the second tier of, you know, the wide receivers in this class. I believe Ed, Adonai Mitchell is in that tier as well. Um, but let's, let's get to it, man, because their problem, uh, the 10 percent drop percentage is. Not ideal um, at all. And I think he, he, it's not like a, like there, in my opinion, there's two types of drop problems, right? There's, you just can't track the ball and then you have an issue with like your hand placement or your timing on your jumps or whatever. And I think his is more hand placement and timing. You know, this was, this is being recorded after his combine workout. So, you guys remember during his combine workout today, how he would, you know, drift and weave through the gauntlet drill, right? Not just run a straight line. That's because he's not really that confident in his hands. You know, you see it on this play specifically, right? He's running that in-breaking route, that little uh, skinny post, slant, whatever you want to call it. And you see how he's trying to, you know, bring the ball into his body. You know, same thing here. He's trying to he's trying to he's trying to let that ball caress caress on his chest instead of just going and snagging it with his hands because you know he doesn't really have the confidence in his hands. Um, but when he is you know going downfield, he is very fluid. Um, I think overall, Franklin, you know, he can improve on those drops and he can definitely add a little bit of muscle to his frame and and be a really really dependable wide receiver too for a team right like when you draft Troy Franklin you're not drafting him to be you know 
a wide receiver one, get 100 targets a year, 130 targets a year, right? But you're definitely trying to get someone who can, you know, really help you, you know, as a second option, a third option. And Troy Franklin can absolutely do that because one of, you know, the long speed as you're seeing here and, you know, just that deceptiveness as a route runner, you know, quarterbacks really like when they can trust someone to get to a spot. And Troy Franklin really did that, you know, at a high level for Bo Nix in Oregon during his career there. So, you know, Troy Franklin overall, I think he's a good player. Got a second round grade on him and just hopes, really, 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 really hope that, you know, he can get those drops together. Because if he can, you know, you're talking about a very, very, you know, good wide receiver, too, in this league. Taking a look here at Troy Franklin scouting report done by your boy, of course. See some, you know, shades of Alvin Harper and Devontae Smith, obviously, with, you know, those those drop issues. Here, Troy Franklin's career stats. Um, as you see, the 25 touchdowns and the 15.5 yards per catch. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and here are Troy Franklin's team fits. Uh, Carolina, uh, Arizona, the Chiefs, and the Buffalo Bills. If you like this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a blessed day, you guys.